last week, I issued the blockheads with their biggest challenge yet, apartment snacks. Two weeks to renovate an entire apartment. The winning room each week will take off $20,000 off their reserve. Second, $15,000. Third, $10,000. You win two weeks in a row, you're effectively going to get $40,000 off your reserve, which is massive. I divided the apartment into 10 zones and allocating the rooms divided the blockheads. You've just changed your mind. Then we might as well throw everything in a hat We then. might as well then. We're putting it all in a hat or, it's, or I'm keeping this. In the end, they drew from a hat but the bickering continued. And you were bitching about us. I'm not her bitching back. about anyone. I never said that. Okay. I thought she was honestly taking the piss. TND. D and Darren won the week and secured 20 grand off their reserve price. Second place getters Max and Carsten, 15 grand. Third place Simon and Shannon, 10 grand. The other two teams went home empty-handed. Tonight, the final week on the block begins. And our couples fight Keith. That's how it is. It's not going to be how it is. Darren's off in his own little world. Thinks the whole block revolves around him. Challenge suppliers. Everything's going to be left at the last minute, and then nothing's going to happen. The world doesn't roll around Bryce. And wage war on each other. I don't think this is fair. You used it, mate, not me. Why well, not? Use it? How silly. Gone. Done. As the countdown to auction day begins. It is sold! It's the first day of the last week on the block. Our couples have just seven days remaining to finish the entire challenge apartment. Up for grabs, another game-changing 45 grand come auction day. <laughs> Dee and Daz are working on the kitchen, which they ordered from the good guys last week. So you want to start installing tomorrow? Yep. We're going to do our best, mate, but um, I don't see it possible. The good guys want to come in tomorrow morning to start installing the kitchen. The plumbers have got to get in there and do their thing. The electricians have to do in their thing. I've got two more guys coming today to help do the walls, the floor, and everything ready for plaster before the kitchen goes in, because that's generally how you do it. There's a, there's a fair bit of work there. Yeah. If, if those, those walls are up, as soon as the sheathing's up, we'll get the cupboard straight up against the walls. No, but it's not going to be, we're not going to be ready for it. We're going to be, we're going to be just in each other's way. We're we saying can... that without actually physically trying to achieve that, though, aren't we? Bryce, come on, mate. No. You can I'm see the amount of work serious. involved in here. Can we push your guys back another day? Not really. Why? Because there's not enough time to get, get everything done. Uh, we want to try and help you, but you've got to try and help us as well. He needs to work with us. He's obviously not budging on his time frame. Darren wants to lay his floor, get his walls done, get his ceiling done before Bryce can even start installing his kitchen. But the problem we've got is Bryce has got a massive kitchen. It's huge. It's double what we normally install on the block. And he thinks he needs about four days to install the kitchen. Are we clear on what we're trying to achieve or we're oh, not? I'm clear that he's coming in telling us what we're doing. Unfortunately, it, we can only work as fast as we can. If he would just put his guys back one extra day, that would give us a chance to have everything done for him. He, at the end of the day, we have to work out a plan. I know, but he's going to have to probably think about coming back an extra day later. We have to get an agreement somewhere, otherwise this kitchen isn't going to happen. Following on from the kitchen is Chris and Jenna's living and dining rooms. With so many trades on site and their spaces being treated as a dumping ground, this place is a bit messy here. Chris and Jenna have made the risky decision to give their builders the day off and treat today as a planning day. Tonight, Ronnie's coming back to do the suspended ceiling because he can't. There's no possible way he can get ladders around here trying to hang out. It's just chaotic. To even move is just ridiculous. So everyone's told us that's just in our, our area. It's not, it's not my problem, is it? It's not our tiles. 
there's a lot of stuff left in my space. It's a mix of everyone's, you know. And what you just... That's how it is. You've got to play the game now, I'm guessing, so I'll play the game. Chris and Jenna have won just one room and one challenge all series. Last week, they scored lowest for the bedroom they delivered. This room, to me, is all about grey, and it feels very, very cold. And are yet to win anything off their auction reserve price. A bit emotional today. Is the block getting to you? It is, it is a little bit, especially when, you know, you keep getting hammered by the judges, so... Your scope of works this week yeah. is big. Yeah. Lounge room, dining room. Yeah. Basically, all of this is yours. Chris and Jenna aren't in a good spot. We played for $20,000 last week. They didn't win a cent. We're playing for $20,000 this week. And they haven't even started in their apartment yet. How do you even work in here? On the block, you can't afford to get emotional. Get emotional for an hour or two, get over it and get back into it. Otherwise, you're going to lose. We're playing for big money, you can't have a day off on the block. This week, Max and Carson are working on their terrace. And they've commissioned the team from Vivid Green to design and build their massive space, which is going to feature floor-to-ceiling wood panelling, bench seating and a vertical garden. Outsourcing the work will free them up to finish their secret room and plan their wedding, which is only a week away. Crazy kids. Now you're going to go up? Yeah, that's fine, because I can work with that. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Yeah. But with only 10 grand to spend, their biggest challenge is going to be bringing the terrace in under budget. We've got to get Timber to frame out that entire thing. It's pretty bad, eh? Do we have a budget for it or no? No. We don't? No. We actually thought that um, we would have money there for Timber, so we didn't really incorporate that into the budget. Maybe other people will give us some money from there. They might run out. No, but under their normal budget, because... They won't. Guaranteed. The thing is, this is a competition and every team wants to win, so they'll just invest as much money, get the most expensive items in that area, whereas other people are going to be scraping by just to finish. Like peasants. Mike and Carleen are working on the laundry powder room. Hold it still, please. <laughs> they failed to impress the judges last week and went home empty-handed. We need a floor waste there. And then toilet. And this week, they're left wondering how their tiny practical room can compete with the likes of terrace and kitchen. We're almost certainty with the laundry this week. You know, I can't see how we can lose, so... They're looking forward to this week. Did I detect a hint of sarcasm? Luckily, Michael, the designer, is full of great ideas. So what I thought was, we just drill a hole in the middle, waterproof it, with a sign that says, Poo and we here. And then you can get a nice chandelier um, and then present that, because we'll probably get the same scores. So as long as you make it, like, function, like, so you can... We should get a mirror, though. Yeah, and a mirror. We're not stupid. The boys' last hurrah is the rooftop terrace. And they don't have to look far for inspiration. Their biggest battle is getting started. <laughs> Bit of work to do. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> Keith's team needs to get the structural steel in place before they can get underway. So they can always work in the rain, but we've had 100k an hour winds for the last two days. The cranes arrive nice and early to do the job, but this time it's not the wind that's the problem. We can't really worry about being too close to the power line, just trying to figure out how we can possibly set it up. We've got a pretty big issue happening at the moment. Now, in order to get your steel up, we've got to crane it up. Yep. It's got a really big jib. The jib's actually too wide. It's too close to the power lines. Yeah, I can see that. We've got the wrong crane here, I think. Oh, yeah, that is a, that's a big crane. <laughs> it is. Remain patient. Always, mate. <laughs> I 
what's a room week without the boys getting shafted? I don't know. <laughs> Coming up, just had a chat to Bryce. Daz's kitchen is in jeopardy. It's a massive kitchen, it's huge. He hasn't got the time to turn around. That's how it is. And later... Carsten had it. I told you. Yeah. Chris lets fly at Carsten. You used it, mate, not me. What On what? You when you don't return it, that's when you get starts getting frustrated. Doesn't need something to feel better, don't they? It's the final week on the block. And the teams are working on top of each other to win a share of 45 grand in auction day reserve price reduction. At the moment, we've got one small apartment with probably about 40 or 50 tradies in there. Not a good place to be. Up on the brothers' rooftop, however, the silence is deafening. Simon and Shannon are still waiting for a smaller crane to lift up their steel. We've got outdoor terrace, and there's no outdoor terrace without any steel, and there's no steel. So at the moment, there's no outdoor terrace. So no steel, no deal. The brothers are left with no option but to keep on planning. We definitely want, like, a gazebo sort of thing, don't we? I do want a, a kitchen in there. Yeah, you definitely want a kitchen. We've got big plans for the terrace. We want to do some cool stuff. The brothers are making plans for an outdoor fireplace, casual seating space, plus kitchen sink and prep area. It's a lot of work to do. It's a tight week. The block wouldn't be possible if it weren't for a few of our tried and tested supplies. And when it comes to kitchens, Bryce from the good guys is a guru. He's been instrumental in creating some stunning kitchens for the block. This time round, Bryce wants Daz to put his walls up first so that he can start installing the kitchen tomorrow morning. Daz, however, wants to get his floor down before starting on the walls. But not if Keith has anything to do with it. I just had a chat to Bryce. Now, if you want your kitchen, you've got to stick to his plan. So the plan is, you put the wall in, he comes in, puts his kitchen in, you put your floors to his kitchen, you put your ceiling to his kitchen, otherwise you aren't going to have a kitchen. Why is that? Because he hasn't got the time to turn it around. It's a massive kitchen, it's huge. That's how it is. It's not going to be how it is. As I said... He can't just come in and say, this is how it's going to happen. Let him install the kitchen, then finish it off. That's how it is. Well, we're going to do our best, but unfortunately, best, we're not suited. That's it. how it is, big fella. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks, that. mate. No worries, mate. Nice chat. Keith saying now uh, that we've pretty much got to do what Bryce says. We're going to just be working as hard as we can. We're going to get the floor done today. So we'll see how we go. Across town, Carlene is still having trouble getting inspiration for their laundry. So this is my cabinetry colour. I need to find something that is going to work with that. Possibility. This is getting closer to what I'm thinking. It's just another option if I want to go a different way. Actually, that matches. That's some street art. Why not? So, when all else fails, she decides to call her chief design consultant, five-year-old son, Paddy. Hey, Pad. Yeah. I've got to, we've got to do a laundry this week. What do you think we should do in there? Um, put a washing machine in. Yeah, that's a good idea. What colour tiles should we put in there? A dark blue. A dark blue dark tile. Blue. And yeah. what kind of handles? Dark green. Dark green. Thanks for your help, big guy. My laundry is going to have dark blue tiles on the floor. Um, and it's going to have green, dark green handles. That's all I know so far.
we're just going to have to be careful of what we choose in regards to, you know, the size of the furniture. This week, Chris and Jenna are mixing things up and Chris is in charge of the design. So Jenna has to run all purchases by her hubby. Did you see the picture of the cats? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, so you want me to get it? I don't know. What, what do you think? might take a while. Back at the block, and finally a smaller crane has arrived to get the brothers steel up onto their rooftop terrace. But, well, it's starting to sound a bit like the boys have had a visit from Goldilocks. So, simply the first crane was too big. Yeah. This one's too small. Yes. This is simply becoming a comedy. That crane's too small. It actually won't reach the area where the steel is. This is basically preventing us from finishing up the rooftop terrace. I don't know how we're going to pick up the pieces, but I can't see the guys having enough time to finish that rooftop terrace. Hey, Keithy, what was that? What does that say? <laughs> <laughs> Be nice, Simon. Coming up. The wheel doesn't roll around Bryce. And there's other things we have to take into consideration. It's round two for Daz and Bryce. Darren's off in his own little world, thinks the whole block revolves around him. And later, Michael blows his own trumpet. Got a major horn there. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a foreman called Keith. Keith said he would help the brothers build their rooftop terrace. Pretty soon, he realised he needed a crane to lift the 300 kilo steel beams up to the roof. The first crane that came was too big. The second crane was too small. This is simply becoming a comedy. But the third crane was just right. Finally, there was some hope for the brothers. The steel's been erected. We'll try as quickly as we can to get a frame up ready for the guys to fit out. So hopefully by tomorrow night, we'll be in a really good position on the rooftop terrace. Downstairs in the kitchen, Daz has been working flat chat on his floor, but there's no sight of any walls. At the moment, Darren hasn't put his walls up. He's working on his floor instead of working on his walls. This morning, I instructed him to work on his walls so we can install his kitchen. The way they want to put it in, they want us to build the walls first and then cut our sheet flooring around to fit their kitchen, which takes 10 times as long. So they'll have to come back a day later and, and put it all in. If those walls aren't up by tomorrow morning, there's going to be trouble. So as the sun sets on the first day of the last week on the block, Jenna's decided enough's enough, and it's time to kick everyone out of their space. People have been using this as a dump yard all day. That fishing stops for right now. This line is now dividing our space and um, claiming our territory. You know, dogs pee on trees, we spray paint lines on the concrete floor. <laughs> and this means this is our space. So no dumping timber, no dumping crap that's in your side. Otherwise, I'll cut it up and use it myself. It's a new day on the block. But it's the same old story for the brothers. We'll get these steelies out of here soon. Run the floor, Joyce. Yeah, we really have a good go at getting you up and running, mate, because at the moment you can't do a thing. Keith has told us we can't do anything today. No work. 
Oh, no, I might catch a sneaky lunch somewhere. It's very frustrating watching everyone else go ahead. At the same time, I'm glad I'm not in that room upstairs with everyone else because that is, a, that is that's a fight, that place, yeah. Ladies, move, gentlemen, move. Somebody ring the alarm, a fire on the roof. Speaking of fights, it's now 7.30. Big Daz is still working on the floor. And there's no sign of any war. What? We're booked in to be here this morning to start setting up the uh, up the kitchen. What I see at the moment, they're going to be struggling to even get in there today. Oh, I need walls up. The longer it takes us to get in there, the, the more it's just putting pressure on not, not just ourselves, but everyone else that's got to get in there after that. Now, what, what's your time frame to uh, be able to get us in here? Uh, I hope to get lunchtime, mate. Lunchtime? So what, what are you hoping to get done by lunchtime? Get the walls up? The whole, all the walls. Is there any reason we didn't build the walls yesterday? Had to build the floor. That wasn't the discussions that uh, was held yesterday. No, that was discussions that you wanted. And unfortunately... Well, it's not... No, it's not a matter of what I wanted. It was what was initially discussed, is how it was going to happen. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, mate. So, we're going to have this done by lunchtime. No, I didn't tell him I was doing the walls first. That's what he wanted to happen. The wheel doesn't roll around Bryce. Fortunately, there's other things we have to take into consideration. The way it is at the moment, everything's going to be left at the last minute, and then nothing's going to happen. And then everyone's going to be rushing around panic. They think the kitchen's going to be done in five minutes? No, it's not going to be done in five minutes. Big kitchen. Yeah, it's still, still a bit. Massive kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, the plan was go and build your walls, install the kitchen, then you can finish your floors, your ceilings, etc. Darren's ignored that. He's worked on his floor all day. There aren't any walls in place. So Bryce and the good guys' kitchens, they can't do anything this morning. All they can do is wait. Well, I told him yesterday it's unrealistic his timing. I told him, mate. I, I've got guys With here. He's got on the block. Here. He runs the kitchens. He runs the building that area. But he doesn't run building this room, mate, unfortunately. And I'm trying to work as best I can with him in order to get it done. But you can't just come in here and start telling me what to do and do things now in five minutes, because it just doesn't work that way, and you know that, Keith. You, there's a lot no, of no, people we're relying on to get things done. We worked out a plan of attack yesterday. You ignored that plan of attack. Darren's off in his own little world, thinks the whole block revolves around him. We're wasting time now. Well, you talked to me about it, and I've already spoken to Bryce about it. That might prevent him from actually having a kitchen this week. Meanwhile, in what must seem like a parallel universe, I can't wait to Carson's about to get suited up for his big day. Arthur, how are you? Hey, mate, how you doing? Good, how are you? Time to get married. Yes. Absolutely, so yeah. we're going to make you look the part. And who better to do the fit out than Mr Arthur Gallon himself? So here's our um, more traditional tux, yep. which I think is really cool. Uh, and, you know, what's the, um, the pleated bib shirt. Really cool, traditional, very wedding, great, great sort of fit. Um, I think it look great on you. Uh, you might want to wash those hands before the big day, mate. Go get them, Tiger. Fantastic, like looking the part. Yeah. Fits you really well. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, no, right. I really do. It's been filthy for the last however many weeks, so to get into something like this feels really There we good. go, it looks good. Yeah. Looking absolutely sharp. It's cool, I like it. You are so ready to get married. I am. <laughs> Back at the block, and Chris's team are making up for lost time yesterday. Good, I've got three guys here today. The plan today is for them to do all the framing, start on the floor. Marty's missing some sheets of flooring. And he suspects foul play from a fellow blockhead. Carson takes, like, everything he can find, like timber, tools, nails, anything. I reckon it's up in the secret room. That looks like mine. I did lose a few sheets. Shut up. Are you serious? It is one. Look at that. Chris and Jenna. That's cheating, isn't it? 
can't use other people's material. I don't think this is fair. Hey, bro, what's happening? Hey, just wondering, I've, I brought some sheets in yesterday, some floorboards. Have some you? Floorboards? Yeah, some yellow tongue. Yeah. Have you seen any by any chance? No idea, mate. What about the yeah, secret yeah. room? There's no way to get yellow tongue up there. Oh, OK. All right. Yeah. OK. See ya. Hello? Yeah? The yellow tongue that was used up in the secret room. Apparently, Chris and Jen, they're missing some. Oh, yeah. I know. You called me. It's... It, all that there was in a massive pile when it, all over there was all cleared out. As long as you just chat to Chris and he's all good and he knows what happened, that's amazing. Yeah, well, I don't ask him back for our suspended sailing stuff they've used, you know, like... Yeah, what? everyone gives a little. Everyone, yeah, like, it's... I'm, how was I supposed to know it was theirs in their pile, you know? It was, I don't know. So, whatever. Alright, thanks. See ya. How silly. The entire block, inside and out, must be finished and ready for auction in just five days. What are you doing, mate? Watch out, watch out. And the boys from <laughs> Thermaco are installing their double glazed windows, complete with thermal brake technology. And Ride to be Max is getting used to juggling a million balls at once. I've slotted in this dirty job between uh, having my hair trial and makeup trial and also my dress fitting, so. Um, <laughs> It's quite unusual. In the laundry powder room, after ten weeks on the block, Michael is match fit and absolutely fly. I've only got a little laundry this week, so it's pretty straightforward. I've sort of been optimistic, Mick, throughout the whole um, series, so I've been telling Keith I'll have a pint with him when I knock off early, uh, when we finish a room a day early, and it's never happened. So hopefully this is the week. But wife Carleen is still struggling to get inspired by their tiny space. I actually find it really difficult to decide what sort of pendant I want in this room because I don't really know if I want to keep it really clean or give it some warmth with a timber pendant or give it some bling or... Big decisions. <laughs> Last week's winners, Dee and Daz, have already secured 20 grand off their reserve, and the big man is looking for any opportunity to get further ahead of the pack. We wouldn't say no to 40 grand off our reserve. Who would, who would say no to that, mate? Certainly not me. But unless the good guys start installing soon, they run the risk of having an incomplete kitchen. Daz has already sent Bryce home twice, but the man in orange is back for round three. And this time... Darren. He's brought his sparring partner. I know you don't want to hear this, but don't get me wrong, I understand your situation. But you're going to get the walls up. No. There's a fair bit of work involved. We're going to start sheeting the walls this afternoon. We need until tomorrow lunchtime before you can be in here and starting because our guys need to come in and grid, grid the ceiling and, and hang the ceiling sheets. The more people in here, the longer it's going to take. I realise that. So, the sooner they finish, the sooner yeah. we're going to freeze. So right? we're going to bring all the plaster up and stack it here. Um, for them, to hold everything up here for it ready to go. So if we can hold it, we can hold it until literally lunchtime tomorrow, we'll be right to go. I said that I'd have all the walls plastered today and he just needs to give me half a day tomorrow, do the ceiling, and then it's all theirs. This is the preparation work, isn't it? Yeah. You get, get that preparation and then everything will just, just fall into place. Yeah. I think uh, while he went away and had a, had a think about it over a coffee, he realised that it was probably too much of a big ask to get the kitchen installed today. By lunchtime tomorrow, it's all yours. No worries. All right, Dan, I oh, appreciate geez. that. Thank you. I had to pull rank, mate, and tell him who's boss.
Chris accused Carson of stealing materials. And wounded by the accusations, Carson straight up to the secret room to see what the fuss is about. So pretty much this is the controversial sticker. Um, I'm a bit surprised, actually, that Chris has actually gone out of his way to come up here to check that I'd take it. Like, I can see why, actually, because we do joke around a fair bit. I always sort of, you know, the other day I'd grab his corking gun and I'd hide it on him or I'd use it and hot there. Yeah. So he probably thought I went and took all his yellow tongue. Was he accused of stealing? Uh, yeah, he thinks that, he <laughs> thinks that, that, that we took his sheets. Nah, and I'm nah, just like, what? No, nah, no, nah, we definitely didn't. Chris had a delivery and we had ours as well. Remember there was, we had eight, eight sheets each? Yeah. And we, had, we just took the top eight because we were going to use them first. So yeah, that's, so that'd be why. Yeah, that's, that's why cool. we have a sticker on there. Yeah. yeah. That was three weeks three ago. Three weeks ago. Yeah. No, I don't see what the issue is. Yeah, there's no issue. Bigger things to worry about than that, isn't there? Yeah, like this. I'm going to scratch that sticker off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've proved him wrong, I suppose. He forgot a crucial day at which he gave me his yellow tongue. Still unable to do anything on their rooftop terrace. Let me get that door for you. Oh, thank you, fine, sir. Yeah. Simon and Shannon are at Hi. Let Them Eat Cake. I knew you were coming out of bacon cake. Bacon to design cake. the centrepiece bacon for Max cake. and Carson's I wedding. You were coming out of bacon like cake. this one, you Christopher prepared you. earlier. Those outfits are great for them. They always wear um, denim overalls. Denim yeah, overalls. Yeah, so we could get yeah. denim overalls, and obviously she's got blonde hair, he's got dark, dark, dark hair. Yep. Mm -hmm. With a bit of stubble. Stubble? <laughs> on him? On, on her. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got a fairly prominent monobrow. I think she sort of runs across all the way. Right across. Across. That would be. Maybe you can send me a photo. Can you send me a photo? We'll get a photo of one. I'll do my card and you can send a photo. That. Yes, we can, of course. Well, we can do anything on that. Okay. What are you talking about? It's like what you're doing now. Building. Yep. Bet you didn't think you'd be doing that when you signed up for the block. Like a buzzing hive, the block is getting busier and busier with workers, trades and suppliers. You'd expect to have more time for a job of this size. It's, it's a challenge, right? Just, there's so much work there. It's a bit of a struggle. We're doing very long hours. And let's pray that it gets done. Daz has promised the good guys his walls will be up by midday tomorrow. Now, he just has to figure out how to get his plaster sheets through the chaos. The shortest one we have, I think, is three metres. The longest we've got at 4.8. It's going to be a nightmare. We're going to get these sheets up. <laughs> We're going home. Good luck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Hang on. That's the one. Lucky D's on site for moral support. Oh, hey, get off my new boots! What are you doing? I'm not gonna get under. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Michael is doing his bit for block relations by cleaning up the site. You've got a major horn there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> What are you doing with that? Here you got your horn bag. <laughs> Doesn't want to play the game. I'm putting it there. What are you doing with it, Marky Mark? I'm oh, just trying to clean up the area a little bit just to make it more of a aesthetically pleasing working environment. In the living room, Chris and Jenna's game plan to shut the other contestants out of their space today has paid off. Their wall frames are up, and insulation has commenced, and they couldn't be happier. I'm in the mood for laying on the beach in Bali, the sun out, not putting insulation in an apartment on a challenge. Mentally and physically, it's a massive week for us, and it yeah. doesn't matter where we are, we're, we're doing something. It may not look like it, but we are. <laughs> Jenny, you know how I said I was going to do this side? No, that side's hard. 
Yeah, yeah, we'll make up your mind, because we can't both be working the same square. We can be working together. No, no, Jen. Together we can do this, Chris. Together we can do anything, including the block. on the block, it all comes down to these final days. And with the finish line in sight, Foreman Keith is doing the rounds to check on everyone's progress. Four days left from the block. At this stage, the contestants are going really well. Darren and Dee have worked hard. They've got their floor down. They've finished plastering their walls. Max and Carson are flying. They've got this massive area, but they're already rendering. Chris and Jenna, ceiling structures up, walls are up. They've only got their floors left. They're in good shape as well. Michael and Carlene are absolutely flying. They're already waterproofing them. They're ready for tiling. But let's go up and see how the boys are going. Up on the rooftop, progress is a lot slower. And the boys are a solid two days behind. Morning, guys. You should be Hi, KV. Hey, KV. How are you tracking? Oh, yeah, we can start today. We're going to start putting our flooring and balustrade in. Yep, we've still got walls to put up. Yep, yep. You know, we've yep. still got a roof to form over yep. the stairwell. We've got lots to do. Lots to do. Well, yeah. I've got some good news. What's that? I'm going to keep these guys here. Beautiful. I'm going to give you two days of three carpenters. Beautiful. They're probably a day or two behind. But I'm going to give them a couple of guys to pick up the pieces and hopefully they can they can finish off that rooftop terrace. You came bearing good news for once, mate. I always give you good news, mate. Oh, you know that? Four. Always. Absolutely oh, not. Mate. Don't you start me, mate. Don't. Don't. Leave him alone. Down in the laundry, and Michael hasn't put a foot wrong all week. But it looks like someone has put a foot in it. In his waterproofing, that is. A little bit of my waterproofing was still wet. Someone's put a ladder on it, and everyone keeps working over it. I guess that's some of the fun of working on the block. Poor Mikey. Yep. The good guys have arrived and started to load in the kitchen. That's all finished there, isn't it? Oh, I'll start, I'll start in sliding. I'll start in sliding. And it's a case of fourth time lucky, because this time Daz is ready for it. But he's a little dishevelled as a result. Well, this, the last two days have been extremely busy, and they've cooked me. So I'm going to go clean up and then Right to bed. The team from Vivid Green are making good progress in Max and Carson's Mammoth Terrace. Apartment 6, the terrace, it's massive. It's a huge undertaking. Our landscaper is onto it. We're sticking to schedule. But even though Carson's hardly set a foot in the terrace... Carson had it. I told you. Yeah, I told you. Chris is on his case again. This time, it's about his builder's tools. Cast it again. Cast it again, pitching everyone's tools. Ronnie lost his, his collated his screw gun. He was sure that he left it here. He stored it away in the corner um, where all our other tools are. And we, we only found it probably about half an hour ago in um, Carsten's terrace area. You used it, mate, not me. Why would I'm I not. use it? Oh, your, is it? Your boards. Yeah. We used normal drill. Where was it, Ronnie? Oh, it would have been, no. would have been Jared. Yeah, so we used it last night. Nah, nah. I've been looking for it all day. Did you know it was there? 
there was some of their tools over there in Crystal. amongst all the other tools over there. Crystal. Oh, some of Crystal Jennings. Yeah, you got a vendetta against them, don't you? Oh, must. Still on their chipboard tools. Chipboard tools, yeah. Set up. Well, I think they're eight. They just, they just need something to feel better, don't they? In any site, you don't touch any other people's tools unless you ask, you know? And I'm happy for that. I'm happy to share. But when you don't ask and you don't return it, that's when you get start to get frustrated. I know things go missing. All my tools have been stolen. I literally have no tools at all. But I've got no reason to steal his because these guys are doing all the work. Up on the rooftop, clouds are rolling in, and Moz is having reservations about how they're going to finish. I don't know how we're going to get this thing finished. It's going to be wet tomorrow. Yep. Happy days, mate. Happy days, that's all I hear. Happy days, happy days. Yeah. That show finished about 20 years ago. But for now, the skies are clear-ish. And the brothers are moving forward for the first time this week. Come around and your fire will be smack bang, pretty much in the middle. Pretty much in the middle. And then okay. everything surrounds it, and then you can look at the fire or look at the view. And with Simon and Shannon finally being kept busy, Keith's decided it's payback time. In the past few weeks, Keith's been on the receiving end of some pranking by the brothers. Wow. Some a little lame. That took me two seconds. Some a little game. I can't say I've ever come across a prank like this on the block. Simon and Shannon have pranked me probably three or four times. It's time for payback. Enter Mr. Sandman. Mr. Sandman, bring me his dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Oh, yuck. Sam is jocks. Well, that's Simon. Now it's time for Shannon. Every series, my favourite time to drop in on the blockheads is the final week. It's noisy. It's chaotic. Oh. They're knackered. And with so much at stake, well, it's like a perfect storm. First stop, Max and Carson, who have a mammoth terrace. Oh, and one other small matter to attend to. This is a massive space. Tell it's me that. huge. What a massive job. What did you win last week? 15? 15 off our reserve. 15 off your reserve, so pick up 20, 35 off your reserve. I would that be happy with anyone. make my whole block experience if we could, you know, either place and then get married. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about the wedding and, and I'm organising it. I hope it's under control. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all good. I'll get on to that, the Starbuck. Are you prepared, mate? You haven't got cold feet, have you? No, oh. I, I'm not very good with right. I've got to do a few drafts for my vows, though. I told you, mate. We've only just begun by the carpenters. Just read that song out. <laughs> we, Max, we've only just begun to live. A kiss for luck, and we're on our way. You're really pushing this, aren't you? <laughs> yep. The moment you realise that these kids were born in the late 80s. Hey, Blockaholics, for terrific deals on products used on the Block Glass House, head to Nine Jump In on your favourite device. Follow the links to the Block Shop and get closer to the show than you have ever before. Next stop on the Challenge House tour. Uh, my boys. Oh. <laughs> if I can make it past the maddening crowd, is last week's challenge winners D and Daz in the kitchen. Hello. Hi, Hi Scotty. G'day, Scotty. I've done the stats. How are you, mate? There's 120, 120 tradesmen on site. 
And I Come think on. 50 of them are in here. There's a lot. <laughs> it's crazy. What's going on? Oh, well, just getting our kitchen ready. So, island bench in the guts here, is that right? Yep. Island bench in, in the middle, no, no sink in it. A five and a half metre long bench at the back there with mirrored splashback. Mm -hmm. And the sink and the stove tops in there. It's very modern and mm. fresh and, yeah, it's just this apartment, the whole style is different to what we did. Yeah. So. And, and I heard you had a bit of a win. Somebody wanted to put kitchens in yesterday and you said no. Yeah, Bryce and Good Guys wanted, wanted the kitchen installed yesterday. With, we didn't have a floor down yesterday morning. And did you do it in, uh, you know, ex-footy player terms? A bit of aggro? Uh, no, I was, I was stern. I was stern. Yeah, stern. Yeah, stern. You just didn't needed... fronting? No. <laughs> it's cool. Stern, though. Shirt front, almost. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do that anymore, though. Can't do it anymore. No. Footage changed. So it's, 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 it's no wonder you retired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good on you guys. Thanks, mate. See you later. Yeah. Last week, Chris and Jenna went home empty handed. So the pressure is on for a good result in their living dining this week. Here he is, Chris, mate. How you going, Scotty? Good, buddy. How are you going? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, where's the chip rock? Chip Where's the floors? Gone. They're going on today, all uh -oh. today. Yep. You need a win this week, mate. We need a win. We need some cash. So this week, we've done something a little bit different. Yeah. I'm doing more of the planning and designing of the rooms. You've saved that for the last week. Yes, last week. Yeah, we swapped a bit. I'll tell you what, Jenna um, will be extremely upset if you do win. <laughs> she would. <laughs> She'll go, uh-oh. <laughs> We should, have, we should have been doing this from the start. What are you doing this week? Are you doing anything major that we're going to get your 20 grand off? It's going to have some cabinets. Going to have some lights under there. Tell you they're recessed in. TV cabinet will be floating as well. Good luck, brother. Thanks, Good on you, mate. Hello. Hey. Sorry. The laundry. Yes. I'm so excited about that. Excited. A laundry slash powder. It is. Yeah. So you've just got some tiling to do in here. Yep. Tiling the whole thing? Yep. yep. We've got a stone vanity that we're getting made up. We're having little round white penny tiles, mosaics. Oh, on yeah, that I know those. Floor. And a chandelier. We've got a pretty really? fancy chandelier. You need a win, really. We do need a win. Because you've got to get some money off that reserve. It's true. Mm. We're not confident that we're going to get a win from a laundry powder room. All you've got to do is design the best laundry the judges have ever seen in the history of the block. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> really, you could. You know, they could walk in and go, OK, this is the best laundry we've ever seen. Yeah? Could so happen. we need to give them the win. Could happen. All right, good luck, guys. Thanks, Thanks Scotty. You're going to do it. See you, mate. The best laundry in the history of the block. Yes. Yeah, sure. OK. Yeah, we Thanks. can do it. Last stop for the Challenge House train is the rooftop terrace where they've only begun work today. How are you, boys? Good, mate. Good. How are you going? See you, mate. How are you? This is fantastic. This will be fantastic. It's a big space, too. It's a huge yes. terrace, yeah. You won 10 grand last week, you pick up 20. Yes. Got 30 off the reserve. 30 off the reserve, mate. We'll be laughing. Good luck. I hope it goes well. I hope you stay out of the weather, and I hope you get it done. You're going to have to work in the rain, basically, for yes. us. Nah, well, we need some wetsuits. Yeah, wetsuits, that'll yeah. do it. Well, I'm leaving you guys because it's freezing up here. You don't That's want to all help? Right, mate. No, I don't want to help at all. Why That's not? all right. Because I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> See you, boys. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks, Three and a half days Thanks, to go, fellas. Yeah, it's we'll going to be terrific. Mate. See ya. See you, brother. So, with just three and a half days to go, the Challenge apartment and common areas still look like a bomb site. And if it was anyone else working on these spaces, I'd have my doubts about them finishing on time. But I've got to take my hat off to this bunch. They're the most dogged, determined, resilient blockheads I've ever come across. Or are they? Tomorrow night, <laughs> while the Buccaneers boys paint the town red, <laughs> Hen and her girls don't shake their tail feathers. But plenty of feathers get ruffled as the finish line approaches. I don't think we've got any choice. We have to close this area down immediately. 
The brothers' battle to build a roof terrace gets epic. 10 mil of rain is forecast. I don't think we've got any chance of finishing this thing. And the madness descends on our underdogs. Let's just work it out. Don't make a big scene out of it. I'm the one making a big scene out of it. It's my week to design it, so give me a go. As soon as I say something, no, it's not. Yeah, whatever. No, it's freaking bullcrap.